Hello guys, this is Code in Code and this is video editorial for the problem building teams taken from CSCS graph algorithm series. So let's see what the problem says. So the problem is you, there are n pupils in a class and there are m relationship between them. So your task is to divide the pupils into two teams in such a way that no two pupils in a team are friends. Basically there are n nodes if you represent the same problem as graph. So you got n nodes and m edges right and you have to divide the nodes in such a way in in two teams of course in such a way that no two nodes are in the same team such that there is an edge between them and you can choose the size of the teams uh, freely basically there is no uh, this there's no restriction on size of the team okay so if i explain this with an example suppose of student one is friend of student two student one is friend of student three uh, and three and four both are friend of student two okay so this was the relationship graph so what i can do i can divide one and two in a same team while three and four in the other team so you can see no two students uh, are there in a team such that there is a relation between them so this is the overall problem if you think carefully you see we have to divide the edge or oh sorry the number of nodes in two in two different teams right and all of the nodes in single team in same team should not have any edge between them so what does it remind you of so if you think about it you will see that this actually is asking to check whether the graph the relationship graph is actually bipartite or not if you do not know what is bipartite i i highly and or if you do not know how to check that i would highly recommend you to go go through graph theory course part one so i'll be putting the link of this course in the description of the video so you can go through lecture five as well as dfs uh, if you do not know how dfs work because for lecture five previous side is dfs okay so after dfs lecture that should be lecture two i guess yeah after lecture two and lecture five you should be go ready to go with the solution of this problem now before i go ahead and tell you the solution of this problem for all of those who want to become a software developer or just have become software developer an academy brings you a platform where you can get access to weekly shows which you can watch live some of the shows that are going live on an academy are hiring updates in startups and major tech companies eligibility criteria and how to apply for them how to approach code chef and also pre-placement talks where hr from top companies come and talk about their hiring processes also top 20 questions which are asked in interview and how to solve them accelerating development by using real life projects life journey of fellow coders working in fan companies and many more shows like that one of india's leading dm expert will be coming live on weekly basis and teaching you dm using practical projects and tools so that you understand the technical aspects in fun and easy way You'll be taught all about digital marketing from zero. So don't worry if you don't know the basics. We all know about the ads which run on multiple apps like YouTube, Flipkart, Amazon, Instagram, but how the companies manage to target the correct audience and convert these leads to sales. So what are the differentiators? Something that you won't find on YouTube, but you will find here. Of course, live projects and interactive episodes. You'll also have an option to interact with industry leader on the platform and get a chance to take part in online mock interviews to sharpen your skills and get a real time feedback. You get all of this and much more for a nominal fees of 999 for an entire year. You can get the same for 899 if you use my code. You can find my code in the description of the video and the relevant links. So now let's head back to our lecture. Now the problem can contain more than one connected component it is not given in the problem statement that the graph is actually connected so there may be more than one connected component so you have to check bipartite graph testing for each of the connected component respectively okay if any of a single connected component if you find even a single connected component which is not bipartite you have to print impossible uh, you can find the problem statement here you have to print impossible if it is not possible to divide the whole uh, whole student in two different parts okay so if even a single connected component is not bipartite you have to print impossible otherwise we will go through all of the connected component and color or color each of the nodes in either zero or one color right and using that color you can print them uh, you can print to one and two right all of the nodes which are colored zero you can print them as one all of the colored which uh, i mean all of the nodes which are colored one you can print as, print them as two so each of the nodes will be divided in two different teams right based on their color 
so here you see i've solved the problem using bfs and dfs as well so this is the dfs solution this is the same i'm using the same code which i've explained here in lecture 5 okay so after you go through lecture 5 you'll be able to understand it so here you see i'm checking for each connected component i have defined flag to be true and for each connected component i'm running a dfs right and checking whether this current correct connected component is actually bipartite or not if it is not bipartite uh, bipartite i'm simply breaking here and if it is not if any of the single connected component is not bipartite simply printing false otherwise i'm running a loop from one to n and printing color of each node usually we we assign color in zero and one right if you are using certain because i'm using xor right and that's why i'm using color zero or one if you you can use color one and two it's up to you okay if you are using directly color one and two you can print the colors directly which represents which team they are in okay otherwise if you are using color zero and one you have to uh, add plus one because we have to print one and two okay so yeah this is how you solve this problem i've also solved this problem using bfs you can also check bipartite graph using bfs and dfs nothing has changed this main function is as as it is i've just added bfs okay so i've solved using bfs and dfs and in lecture 5 i'm only explaining using dfs so go through that i'll be providing the link link to both of these solutions in the description of the video so yeah this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching until the next video drops keep coding thank you